Welcome to Interviews with Plants. Today's featured plant is Labrador tea, also known as Rhododendron growing landicum, or sometimes Leadum growing landicum. There are a few features that we would like to look at for this plant. One is the area that we're in. So we're actually in Burns Bog, and Labrador tea grows really well in bog environments on nutrient poor sites. So it's quite plentiful on this area. When we're trying to identify Labrador tea, there's a few key things we can look for. We can look at the height of the plant, which is about half a meter to 1.5 meters in height. It's quite sprawling and multiple branched. We can also look at the leaves of the Labrador tea. The leaves themselves are very distinctive. If you pull off a leaf and roll it between your fingers, it has a distinctive fragrance. The leaf margins are actually rolled under as well. And there's a dense fuzz on the underside of the leaf. The leaves of the Labrador tea are oblong in shape and are evergreen. They're quite leathery. If you flip them over, they're fuzzy on the underside. When they're mature, the fuzz is kind of an orangey, rusty brown color. When the leaves are brand new, the fuzz is sort of a softer whitish color. In addition to the undersides of the leaves being rusty and hairy, the stems are actually covered in fine rusty hairs as well. The leaves of the Labrador tea are also usually pointing downwards, which is different from the bog laurel, which has upward pointing leaves. In early summer, the flowers appear in white clusters. The stamens are quite protruding, giving the flowers a fluffy appearance. Later in summer, the flowers develop into brown drooping capsules. So that's a little bit about our featured plant of the day, Rhododendron growing landicum, Labrador tea. Let's thank the Labrador tea for its time and see you next time on Interviews with Plants.